Hi, welcome to another Siler Instrument quick tip. Today we're going to talk about Trimble Access and a Kogel command called Taped Distances. Taped Distances can be found on page 2 of all the Kogel commands. Taped Distances is just what it sounds like. You bring out a tape measure to measure around a feature. A feature like a building, a floor plan, a foundation, something where, um, here's an example. You've got a building where the entire backyard is inaccessible because it's covered with trees. So if you were using a GNSS receiver, you could see we could measure those two front points on the front of the building, and then we can use this tape distance command to calculate the rest of the building. This also works for optical total stations. So say you were doing a, a shopping mall that had lots of little nooks and crannies, lots of doors and inlets. So you're able to measure two visible points rather than setting your total station up multiple times. So as I said, you need two known points along the building, and then all you do is you put a distance at a 90 degree angle to those two starting points. You are limited to 90 degree turns when it comes to tape distance, but all you sit and do is put in, you tap on the screen for a direction, and then you put in a distance. When you're done, there's a hot key to close, so you have a built-in check to make sure that what you are typing as you're going through this tape distance shows up properly. So when you bring up the Kogo command for tape distances, it asks you for three things. A starting point, an ending point, and the elevation. For the starting point, you can pick from the list of previously stored points. You can key in a new point, or you can actually do a fast fix or measure to measure points as you're doing this Kogo command. Same is available for the end point. When it comes to the elevation, you can just type in an elevation that you want all your Kogo points to be, or they can be the same elevation as your starting point or your ending point. So on the screen, you literally just tap with your stylus and that red dashed line changes to the direction you tap. You click add or hit the enter button on your keyboard and it comes up and asks you for a point name code and then the length of that segment of the feature. This line shows up. When you're done, you've got all your uh, lines around your building defined. You're gonna hit the close command and that last leg will be calculated for you and a distance will show up on the screen so you have a check built into the system. As soon as you are completely done and happy with the building, you hit store. And what you'll get on the screen is a footprint. It'll actually be a line on your map screen uh, with the footprint of the, the feature that you just defined. You can see our two starting points were in the southwest corner, the black dots. The open circles were the offset calculated points. If I go to the map screen, you can see here, here's the um, legend, and you can see the circles are offset points. Thanks, that concludes another Siler Instrument quick tip.